Man, I've got chainsaws all over the place. <clears throat> all right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. So I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So on today's tool review, we are gonna go over the Red Lithium 3.0 uh, USB rechargeable uh, flashlight, the 1100L. So I'm pretty impressed with this light. I've been testing it for a little while now. Um, I'm excited to bring you an in-depth review, so I hope you stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's get down to the review here. So this is my first USB uh, rechargeable flashlight from Milwaukee. So this is their red lithium USB. This is the 1100L. Uh, it's a pretty impressive flashlight. Now, I've been testing it for a couple months here. Um, I'm not one to just take something out of the package and review it without going in depth with it. If I do take it straight out of the package, you will see me unpackage it on camera and you'll get my first thoughts. But nonetheless, I like to go through and do an in-depth review. So one thing that I wish would come with these is kind of a starter pack with an external battery charger uh, or something like that where you can buy the external battery charger and the flashlight, or you can get the USB you know, plug-in model. So. Uh, of course, you have to provide the block to plug the USB cord into the wall with this model, um, which is a little less than desirable. I have to take out one of my phone chargers and use an existing block that I have for the wall. You can plug it into a computer or the Milwaukee top off. There are all kinds of options for recharging this flashlight. So this thing has a couple, uh, has three different modes. It has high, medium, and low. So the one thing that I like but don't like is that you have to hold the, uh, you have to hold the button for it to cycle through the modes low, medium, and high. So not a deal breaker, but a uh, a little different than most manufacturers where you just have to double click the button. Um, and it's ready to rock and roll. I do like the LED indicator showing that it is charged or it's getting low on charge or, uh, you know, or it's in need of immediate charging and it's gonna die soon. I do like that indicator. So this is, uh, this is product number 2161-20 from Milwaukee. Um, the twist focus is pretty legit. Um, you can focus it in and out. I'll obviously be rolling in some B-roll on this flashlight in various different areas and showing you some up close here. But what I wanted to go over first and foremost was the long instruction page here. So some key notes here. Um, the red pulsing uh, when you have the, when we're talking about the indicator light, the red pulsing indicates that it's zero to 49%. The yellow pulsing means charging, or uh, sorry, the indicator light during charging. My apologies. The red pulsing is zero to 49%, and then 50 to 99 is a yellow pulsing, and then green solid is charging 100%. So. Uh, I was a little, I had to actually look that up when I plugged this bad boy in and I'm like, well, what does that mean? So it's nice to have the instructions. If you are not an instruction reader, well, hey, I just did it for you. So uh, obviously there's red green flashing, which means cold, wet, faulty, or no battery. So um, there, this is one of the very few lights I had to get out the instruction manual to figure out what the heck was going on with it. So I do like the, uh, the, 3.0 lithium pack on this. This is a proprietary design for this flashlight and a couple other things from Milwaukee. Um, I know the heated gloves take it. Uh, there are a couple other flashlights that take this battery pack. So if you're invested in the red lithium line, this is a great addition too. If you're not invested like I was before I bought this light, I would have liked to see a plug-in charger or an external battery charger where I could invest in more batteries and then didn't always have to plug this into the USB into the wall. The cord they provide is like a 12 inch cord. Um, it doesn't you know, keep you very far from the outlet. So you know, there are little things to be, des to be desired with this flashlight, but overall it's an awesome value. So, Obviously, this is a flashlight that is gonna cost you $80. I mean, 
Is it worth $80? Yes, I would definitely buy another one. So I wouldn't invest in a whole lot of them, but one or two, um, this is a good product for 80 bucks. This is a stout light. So on full, um, on full power at 1100 lumens, um, this is scheduled to last about an hour and 45 minutes. So I've seen about an hour and 30 minutes and maybe around an hour and 20 minutes. I haven't, I haven't actually put it down and put the timer to it. This is just in uh, actual real life testing and using it. So it lasts for you know, about an hour and 20 minutes with it on constant. So, um, you know, that's not terrible. I mean, it's a pretty bright little pocket flashlight. And when it comes to uh, the actual weight of this thing, <clears throat> this thing only weighs uh, seven ounces here on my scale. So at a seven ounce pocket flashlight, uh, at 100 or 1100 lumens for an hour and a half that's pretty darn good so uh, obviously it lasts a lot more on low i think the reading on low or the uh, runtime on low is about 12 hours which is darn right impressive so you know am i gonna have my pocket flashlight on that long um, most likely not but if i needed to hey it's there so another thing i wanted to test i'm always a nerd in seeing exactly how well products work and how well they're designed this is the true view uh led or yeah the true view led pack on this thing and what i wanted to do was test the lumen output so i have a lux meter here the lux to lumen conversion is a little a uh, little wonky but uh, i'm going to test this thing on high and we're going to see exactly how many uh, lumens this thing's putting out so on high we're getting 125,300 lux so in my conversion table, um, that equates to about 1,007 lumens. So it's a rough conversion. It's close enough to that 100 or 1,100 lumen mark that I'm not going to cry and complain about it. If it, uh, you know, was in the 800s when the conversion was done, we'd have a little issue. I'd say that's a little false advertising. But with a roundabout conversion that's not bad so there's a little room for error there but it is what it is this is pretty much going as advertised here for 80 bucks i definitely do it again um, and it's something that i recommend to you if you're looking into the flashlight or if you're just watching a video because you just bought it and you're excited about what you bought like i am well the the uh you know the purchase was not a bad one so just a little couple things that I'd rather have, but it's not the end of the world. So if you're looking into the flashlight, absolutely go and get one. The twist focus lens is really awesome. Um, I've been using it for a couple months now and the actual flashlight, I have no qualms with it. It is a great flashlight. It just would, I would like to see a little bit of more creature comforts with the accessories that come along with it. The charging pack, uh, maybe a little starter pack with this would be awesome in Milwaukee. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I guess, well, I'm gonna wrap it up and stop babbling. It's time to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you have any questions or concerns, put them in the comments below. I'll put a link to this in the, in the description below. I got mine at Home Depot. Uh, I think you can order them on Amazon. Uh, you can get them all over the place. So it is what it is. Shop for the best deal and boom, you'll be excited to get a new flashlight to add to your repertoire. So I hope you guys click subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.